Well, good morning, folks, and welcome back. We uh, are heading to the two score of brothers. It's a little bit of a tricky situation by the sounds of it, but uh, they managed to come out of the Zebanin River far to the west in their territory. So let's go have a look at uh, what they're up to this morning. It's windy, it's dry, but we're optimistic because we found the Scoro brothers. They are far to the west again of their territory, here on the Zebanin River, just on the eastern banks of the Zebanin River. And they were located at Rockvik Dam this morning. They are looking back to the east, so they'll probably edge off further towards the Mayambula lionesses and their cubs. But for now, they are far away. Okay, so both brothers have settled here. I'm not sure where the second one is. Maybe in the bush right behind this guy. More or less where he's looking to. guys an idea how dense it is in the area around where he is there by that big trees in the distance that's where the river line is running here to my right is tracker Edwell good morning Sotole there we go thumbs up happy days we did try and relocate on them here but that's when the other guides lost visual of them as they moved into the river to drive back. So we can see how the wind is moving the hair a little bit, changing his hairdo. After all, those manes are made as a defense for other lions in big fights, especially pride males when the manes are full. Also, as sexual identification, if lionesses see this chap approaching over a hill, they'll say, that's my man. Waiting to see if he gets up and moves a bit further. This is after all quite a comfy spot. Sort of dot down in some thick grass between some raisin bush to avoid the winds. And then he gets baked by the sun a little bit so who knows maybe they'll stay right here for the day. So on the previous sighting we did catch up with six Mayanbula lionesses or was it five? It's five or six Mayanbula lionesses with the eleven cubs 
was the very first time we got to see the new additions, the three new cubs being part of the pride. It was the first time for me. And now we're lucky to have find, found the fathers patrolling far west. From where we saw the lionesses and the cubs in a straight line, probably about seven miles, roughly about eight to eight and a half kilometers in a straight line there. So it's quite a distance and it shows you how far the reaches of their territory can be and how these boys can. Bumping. It's unfortunate that we cannot see the other brother, but it was great to catch up with this chap at least. <laughs> He's in good shape. Nobody reported any visible injuries, so these guys are sustaining their condition. I wish you well. We'll probably catch up with you guys this afternoon. Impala Dam is to our east, about a kilometer for them, so if they feel thirsty, they'll go quench their thirst that side maybe later on route back to the east. But I'm coming from I'm coming to you from the Timbavati Game Reserve. This is Christoph Skuman. Thanks again for watching. I'll be sure to catch you guys next time. Subscribe and ring the bells. Like the video if you do. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Oh welcome back to the follow up update of our squirrel boys we were here this morning but we only saw the little bit lighter maned male this guy with the slightest tinge of the ginge was uh, tucked away in the river by then so this afternoon they were followed up on and they were found pretty much in the same area but this guy was was uh, joining his brother and we found both of them together now the scars of life you can see almost all those small lacerations and old wounds that's healed up all the battles that they fought to get to where they are now my alliance that's roughly eight years old it was born in 214 A face tells the stories. There's brother B on the right, on his left flank, pretty much exactly where he was this morning. So these guys are far to the west, I mean they're about 8 to 9 kilometers away from where their females currently is. We did see the females on the previous episode yesterday, we did see them far towards our eastern reaches and boundaries with all the cubs. 
And these guys are far to the west. They're all the way towards Rockvik property and they were found at Rockvik Dam. So these Pride May Alliance, especially the larger coalitions, maybe three, four, five, they can have up to 200 square kilometers of a range that they need to cover in territorial boundaries. Typically on average in the savannah biome where resources are plentiful, lots of water and general game and prey animals to hunt, they typically get closer to about 40 square kilometers and that's roughly about 4,000 hectares. That's quite large. Now these boys, I'm gonna guess and say they probably got here by 80 or 90 square kilometer territories. Well folks, Sleepyhead over here is uh, still taking his time. Both Sleepyheads are still taking their time on waking up, as you can see. But it was good seeing the more ginger colored male, or the other brother that we saw this morning. And these guys are consistently looking to the east, so my guess would be that they will move a little bit closer towards where their females could be. And um, hopefully in the morning we can find them all together. And if not, it will be still great if we to catch up with them. has been a while since we updated anybody on a nice leopard and that is Tumbela female. She was stalking Impala, that's right behind her so that's what gave her location away. The alarming Impala, he's dotting down into the winter's grass, remaining concealed from the antelope behind us. But hey, it's super awesome to catch up with Tumbela again. So for uh, moving out of that thicket, just to give you an idea, sort of in the far southeastern corners of our traverse. So a lot of open grasslands in this area because of the rock type gabbro and basalt. It's very prevalent out here. Uh, the older half sister of a Nyeleti female. Born from the legendary Rockvig Junior, she is about 11 to 12 years old, Timbela. Highly experienced and very habituated towards the vehicles. Possibly watching some aerial visitors here, maybe some hooded vulture or a batelier or tawny eagle flying above us and they can easily give away the location of a predator so she's considering everything around her So Timbela has decided to come out of that uh, grassy layer over there. She had a quick nap and she saw that the impala became quite complacent and started moving into the opposite direction. So she's going to close the distance and she's going to take out time as we know the experienced female leopards. They don't rush this.
All right. Yeah, how attentive she is towards these Impala. I think she's going to close the distance even further. But yeah, to give her her space, we're going to love and leave her, and hopefully, she manages to succeed. And will give quite a nice sighting for the others. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you soon.